laptops. Where? Today we're going grocery shopping. Sa tatlong stores. And it's gonna be my first time to drive myself to those places here in my city. So for the past two weeks, I was at my boyfriend's place and I was practicing there, driving around their neighborhood. And I also went to some commercial places. I kind of did some mistakes, but you know, I learned. And um, from my boyfriend's place to here in my place, it's like 40 minutes away. And I drove myself back home here. And I used the freeway. So, freeway, I'd say, para siyang NLEX sa Pilipinas. Parang expressway. Medyo maraming cars no nag-drive ako pa uwi dito sa place ko. And, um, the experience was mild. So, in the meantime, mag-get ready muna ako. Just so, <laughs> even though we're struggling, we're cute. Okay, so this is what we look like. I just did me some messy updo with my second day hair. My hair needs a bit of retouching because it has gotten so light. I don't like it. But anyway, I think outfit. And I'm also gonna be bringing this Costco uh, temperature controlled bag, I think. Just to put some frozen stuff because I'll be going to like three stores and we'll never know. I don't want some defrosted stuff in my in my truck. We're in my car now. Um, I was trying to cool it down. I put the windows down earlier and I kind of put the fan on blast so that it can air here that's been sitting for a while. And then... Um, we're gonna go to three go groceries today, grocery stores today. But I don't wanna go do my groceries when I'm hungry because when I do that, I might get things that I don't really need for the weeks or the next few weeks I planned. Because I, I did plan the meals that I'm going to cook for this week or the next two weeks so I, I want to stick to that and I do have my grocery list so I want to stick to that as well and um, kapag gutom ako kung ano anong mabibili ko <laughs> I don't want to do that I want to stick to a budget so at most I want to spend just hopefully just a hundred dollars for this grocery or 150 at most we'll see we'll see I did set up my car play, so yun yung um, ipa follow ko dito. A lot of you guys were suggesting that I get a um, phone holder, but I do have my car play over here, and nakikita ko naman yung maps ko here, so I feel like this is more convenient for me. So, first stop of the day is we're gonna go to Chipotle. Um, that's like the quickest and healthiest stuff I could think of right now so that's what we'll do okay fuck at the stop sign turn left on east 6th street oh my god guys it's all about music because number one we're vlogging <laughs> and second um i want to be able to hear what um my GPS is saying you know what I mean? Okay that helps. It's currently 1.30. Kinda going out late, but whatever. Arrive at Chipotle Mexican Grill. Where? Arrive. Where? I have no idea. Guys, we made it! So I am gonna anakunta ngayon sa Chipotle. even okay i'm inside the line i'm inside the line so let's catch up chipotle oh my god i forgot to put sour cream hello friends i'm done eating 
Now, first door stop is to the Asian market. I need this, but smaller in size. They don't have the smaller one. Thank you for shopping at Costco. Please remove all scanned items. This is all that I bought, you guys. I didn't even buy much. I'm really thinking if I should cancel my Costco membership. Because I don't really buy much. But then, you know, I need my Costco membership for gas now that I have a car. Kasi mas mura sa Costco magpagas. So I don't know. Maybe I should keep my Costco membership. Now where do I exit from here? I'm gonna put Walmart sa maps ko. So, so far, Naka $70 ako sa Asian market tapos $18 sa Costco. So let's say $90 na yon. So ang budget ko na lang sa Walmart ay $60. Starting route to Walmart Supercenter. Walmart. Proceed to the route. Okay, we made it. Let's go to Walmart. lang tayo sa Walmart. But, <coughs> unfortunately, I went $40 more. So, no, 40, no, actually $55 more. Hi! So, I gotta make sure that everything I shopped for would last me for a month or so. So, like I told you, we need to make our groceries last for like a month or so. So, pag uwi ko, I'm going to, you know, portion everything, 
and then um, I'm gonna show you guys kung ano yung kinagawa ko sa mga produce ko, mga fresh produce ko just so they don't rot in the fridge within a few days Kapi guys, yung ihina ko Alright, so it's the next day and um, I was so tired last night but at least we were able to finish doing my frozen stuff like my pork and my shrimp and they all went to the freezer now. So today, I'm just gonna give you a quick fridge tour. On top of my fridge, I just have there my vitamins, um, Rio supplements, my poppy supplements and then some medicine. I just want to quickly show you guys this medicine rack that I have. It goes like this. And then I just take whatever I need, put it back, and then just slide it back in. And the same goes for the other one. So, yeah, I'm going to link this below. I got this from Amazon. And maybe I'm going to try to find one from Shopee or Lazada for all my Filipino viewers. And then, ito na yung freezer ko, you guys. Please don't judge me. This is nothing artsy or fancy. This is a freaking normal freezer, okay? So, tanan. Hindi ko na papakita sa inyo nandito sa door kasi it's just a bunch of stuff. Probably the most important thing is that this is where I keep my um, eye mask, yung mga eyes, eye mask ko. And then, my bacon stays here as well. I don't really eat a whole bacon Back, so I keep whatever's left sa reusable Ziploc bag like this. And it just stays here sa freezer door ko. It's so much Ziploc going on and that's because, you know, this is a single household. Um, you know, when you go to the stores, they come in... I mean, when you go to the stores and when you buy meat or frozen stuff, they usually come in bulk. <laughs> Or it's too much for one serving or one thawing. And I don't want to thaw the whole thing whenever I cook. Basically, I have here some pork. You guys saw last night how I did this. And then yung shrimp. And then these ones are some bacon bits. I told you guys, everything here in my um, freezer is like in Ziploc in small portions. And then I just have here my salmon, my um, mussels right there. So you can see the green box. And then um, some fish cake at the back. I think I should toss that away because it's tagal na yan. Like for example, sa longganisa, yung isang pack ng longganisa, sometimes it comes in six pieces. And I don't even eat six pieces. So whatever's left, I just store in small Ziploc bags like this. And then I just put it here. And then here on top, I just have here some frozen... Um, Pineapples and then cucumbers for whenever I want to do my pineapple, coconut water, cucumber, ginger smoothie. And then I just have here some edamame. And then this one, you guys, same thing. So much portions of like steak. And then now let's go to my actual fridge down here. So I think fridge go. Um, I don't know if you guys can see everything well. But that's it. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so, ditong part, all my um, sauces, condiments that needs to be refrigerated. And then up here, you know, butter, furikake, seasoning. Here is the main part. Um, this is where I keep my potatoes, sweet potatoes, and some apples. 
And then right here, most of my veggies. Okay, I store my ginger in resealable bags like this. Kasi kapag iniwan ko lang siya ng exposed dyan, it's prone to, um, I don't know, dryness. And then, you know, kapag dry na yung ginger mo, hindi na siya magagamit. Wala na siyang, you know, the ginger juice that we all need. And then, I just have here my talong. I don't usually um, keep my eggplant here for so long. I'm actually going to eat this tomorrow kasi medyo mabilis siyang masira. And then, some uh, cucumber right there. And then, ito yung iba kong mga sili. Now, on this lower shelf, I have here my sitaw. So actually, madami to, but then half of it, um, I blanch and then stored in the freezer. Actually, I wasn't able to show you, but ito siya. This was half of the sitaw that I blanched and put in the freezer. Alam ko na kasi na this week, ito lang yung kaya kong kainin na sitaw. So that's why yan lang yung nilabas ko. And then the rest, like I said, I froze it. And then right here, I just have here my green onions. This is what I do with my green onions, you guys. I just put water here and then um, put it here like a flower. And then I just use some of my porcelain chopstick to keep it upright. This is nice kasi kapag, for example, naubos ka na lahat, like nakat ko na. As long as uh, nire-renew nyo tong water every day or every other two days, as in tutubo ulit siya and may panibago kang set of green onions which I think is so cool. And then right here, just have my Vita Coco, my sour cream, some of my dairy, and then some oat milk. And then this juice, I freaking hate to keep that there. Pero whenever my boyfriend comes here, he always looks for juice. So he's the only reason why I keep juice here in my freaking fridge. But I'm usually just a coconut water girl and some pineapple smoothie stuff like that so i just keep that there and then right here just have my carrots and celery that i store in this airtight jar i don't mind mixing them because i juice them together anyway and then right here you guys is my parsley which i store in my mason jar i just recycled this from an old alfredo sauce and then this looks so sad, I know, but then the Walmart I went to last time, you guys, it was so unmaintained and um, all the parsleys were squished and limpy and this was the least squished one, believe me. So it's fine, I'm fine with this as long as hindi naman siya crunchy and dry. Fresh pa rin siya. So, lahat ng water na to, guys, I usually renew every other two days because I don't have time to do it every day. You know what I mean? Now, on my top shelves, um, I have here my eggs, some of my protein shake. Ito naman yung mga paste, like my truffle paste, shrimp paste. Also spread um, cream cheese. And then, may gourmet to you ako dun sa likod. I just keep them there. And then these ones, yung ano, mga Korean soybean paste, and then hot pepper paste at the back. And then lastly, here's a top shelf. I have here this crab legs, my tofu, garlic, field garlic. So this week, kasi guys, I'm gonna be very busy. So, you know, it um, lessens my cooking time kapag field na yung garlic ko and ready to chop na lang siya. So, I bought this one, but usually I don't. And then lastly here, I just have here my cremini mushrooms. So I just keep it like this. I don't really eat this in one sitting. So kapag kuwari ko, kuwala ko ng 3 to 4 pieces. And then the rest, I'm just going to put this um, plastic back on. I usually finish this in a week anyway. So um, hindi, naman siya, hindi ko siya nasisira lahat. By the way, guys, I forgot. This is where I keep my avocados right there. I know it looks dark, pero meron pa siyang mga green, mga green areas. So, kapag fully dark na siya, I transfer this sa fridge ko. And then for my garlic, onion, tomatoes, dito siya sa cabinet na to kasi I don't want to keep anything sa countertop ko. So, I like them stored there. And that's it, you guys. That's my fridge. Thank you.